How's it going guys? Welcome back. In today's video, we are getting ready for spring, kind of just getting in the spring spirit. I wanna take you out to one of my favorite antique stores, which is Paramount West. I also really like their 13th location, but in today's video, I'm taking you out to the West one, which is huge. They have tons of vendors. It's been around for a long time. So I want to take you along so you can see all of the pretty spring displays and we're gonna find some decor to decorate my house for spring. So once we are done with the antique trip, I'm gonna bring you back and I'm gonna show you all of the treasures that I've collected from this trip.
Okay, so most of these items are from this trip, but there are a couple of things that I collected when we went to Newton. It was when I was collecting things for the giveaway. I did get a couple of things for myself, so I want to share those with you too. And one of them's not particularly spring, but I'm going to share it with you anyway because it's a, it's a really cool find. So let's just start off with this little guy. As you know, if you saw my most recent spring decorate with me video when I was doing the tablescapes, I was mentioning that I've been looking for green transferware and I found like a really great vintage inspired set, which I love because I've got like a full set of it. It's very beautiful, but I hadn't found like full sets, but I did see this little plate and I loved the design on the front of it so much. And I thought this would be really cute just to either hang on the wall or put in my china cabinet um, on like a little, you know, plate stand. And I just think it's really lovely. I got this for, I think it was $3. It's got some beautiful like crazing on it. Um, I love, like this is a piece of furniture that I would want in my house. <laughs> it's just so beautiful, very ornate. Love the clock, love the little moon on it. So I've been just loving green lately. As you can tell, my green nails, if you watched my spring decorate with me, like everything was green for the most part. I'm just, something about it is speaking to me right now, which what better time than spring to be feeling the green. Um, let's see if we can find anything about this little plate here. The old curiosity shop vintage plates is what I'm seeing. I would love a set of these. That would be amazing. Okay. So yeah, the old curiosity shop is the maker of this. So I'm gonna have to keep my eye out to see if I can find more pieces that match this. But even if I don't, this is like such a cute little plate to put on display, or like I said, maybe hang it on the wall, something like that. Just love the design on this one. So the next one that I'm gonna share is actually from when we went to Newton. Um, I have been looking for tapestries, but they are usually really expensive, or I'm just like, not feeling the image on it, but I found this one, which is very dark and dusty, <laughs> dark and dusty. And I wouldn't say it's like in the best shape, but I do really like it. I like the muted kind of deeper colors in it. And I feel like this would be a great backdrop for something. So I don't think this is going to be like a great, like feature on a wall, but having this kind of behind a vignette or something, I think would look really nice. So I got this for $12, which is the main reason that I purchased it. So I was like, it's only $12. Oh, it says on the back that it was made in France. So there you go. Maybe it is special. So you can kind of see the design here. We've got a couple of ladies and a guy. Yeah, I honestly think the image probably kind of gets lost from further away. But like I said, I think it'd be a great backdrop. So what I need to do is figure out how I wanna hang it. It looks like previously it's got some little holes in it. So I could just tack it up, but I think I'm gonna look for a, like a rod and I may just fold the top of it over. Don't get at me for saying this, but I was considering maybe like fabric gluing it around a rod. I know I can also get the clips and have it hanging from a ring. I don't love the look of the rings on the rod. So it's not my first choice, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, let me show you where it says. Made in France. Anyway, for $12, I thought this was nice. So then up next at that same antique mall, which was the one in Newton, I found, oh, it wasn't the same antique mall. Okay, it was a different one. We went to like two, I think, but I found this mug. And this isn't necessarily spring related, but I had to share it with you because it's so cool. Uh, I got this for our kitchen. So we are planning a kitchen renovation and I'm already like starting to gather things that I want to display. Cause we're gonna have a couple of shelves that I need really cool items to put on. And look at this mug with this just dapper gentleman on it. He's printed like three different times, but what, made me like love this mug aside from like I just love the look of it but look at the top it has a mustache protector is that not the coolest thing I feel like it's so I don't know like kitschy if that's the word <laughs> but 
it's charming also. Like I just think it's it's a fun piece to have. I don't remember what I paid for this. I want to say five to ten dollars. Like it wasn't it wasn't crazy. Can't remember the exact price on it, but I picked this up initially just to be like, oh my god, Luke, look at this. This is so funny. And then I was like, actually, I love this. Like I. I, I'm buying that. Anyway, he's gonna look really cute on a shelf in our hopefully new kitchen <laughs> sometime in the you know foreseeable future. So up next, I've got this double swinging frame. If you remember around Christmas time, I think it was, I found one of these, it was just a single frame and I have it on my buffet. Well, yeah, I think it's still on my buffet. Uh, I need to redecorate the buffet. We're gonna get there hopefully in the next video, but um, I found this one and it's a double frame which I thought was just Really interesting because I've now since I picked up that first one I'm starting to see them a lot more But I haven't seen a double one until now and I thought this would be really cool with two prints that go really well together So we could either do like the vintage botanical or insect prints that we have in the Etsy shop um, or we could do one image and cut it into two and it would be a really great feature. Uh, it would have to be the right kind of print though. So I'll have to kind of look at that a little bit more, but I had that idea the other day. Anyway, cool find, $10, can't beat it. So the next thing that I purchased is this basket, which I just was really drawn to, for one, the dark color of the wicker because I'm not really... Um, you guys know I like the dark t wood tones. Kind of same thing goes for wicker. I'm just not a huge fan of the lighter colored wicker. So I was drawn to it for that reason. I feel like I find lighter baskets way more often than I find the darker baskets. And so I was really drawn to it for that reason, but also it's got such a unique shape to it. I thought this would be really pretty with some flowers or even like, you know, faux greenery or something in it up on top of my china cabinet, something like that. And it's funny because the two, I had two different gals helping me um, at the checkout at the antique mall and they were helping me like separately. And they both were like, oh, I love that basket. So anyway, if I needed confirmation that this was a great basket, they, <laughs> they delivered. But anyway, I got this for, let me look. I got this for 14, just a nice basket. Baskets are great for springtime. I even think like, honestly, spring through fall, I feel like baskets are great for decor. We're gonna do this one next because it keeps trying to fall over on me. Checkerboard. This was probably just out of a like game pack, you know, like a where they would have had chess and checkers and like multiple games in it. I feel like as a kid, I had some kind of like family game pack that had probably the exact same one or similar in it. I saw it hidden underneath a table, like literally kind of just like buried. And I've been so attracted to the checkerboard or the Harlequin patterns lately. And so it caught my eye and it was only $5, which is why I picked it up. I thought this would be nice in my china cabinet or somewhere where it can act as kind of just a backdrop to bring that pattern into another space. So really I was thinking china cabinet. I haven't tried it to see if it will fit or not, but that was my intention when buying it. I also really like that it has this black border around it as well. It's such a classic pattern. I feel like it's got a lot of movement to it, but it's not too busy to where you like can't see the other things around it, but it really draws the eye to it. So I am all about checkers right now. And yeah, $5. I think that was a good a good little find. We're, we're gonna hope it fits in my china cabinet now. So then I also picked up this green metal box and I have been collecting like suitcases and metal boxes like this for a while now. I feel like again, I was kind of thinking of the china cabinet again. I've got some boxes kind of stacked up on it now and I thought bringing in like this nice like deep green element in the form of a box would be really nice. It has some nice wear and tear on it. I actually have to tell you I don't think it opens up. Oh, it does. I thought it was locked. Goes to show what I know. 
Anyway, there's no key for it or anything, but I can obviously store some things in it if I want to. I swear I tried to open this and uh, it didn't open up the first time, but apparently I was wrong. Anyway, I like just to kind of have different little boxes like this to stack up in displays. Also, because it's flat on top, you could totally just use it as a riser if you wanted to in a display. Added benefit is the extra storage that it provides. I got this for, I got it for $12. I think it was actually on sale. It was originally 15. Up next is this little planter that I thought was so cute. I have this fake <laughs> like flow, flow, faux uh, greenery stem in it that I threw in that I already had. But um, this little planter, very cute. I keep seeing planters that have really pretty scallop detailing on them online and I've been wanting to purchase them. Uh, I just haven't. And then I came across this one and it's not necessarily scalloped, but it has a really similar look about it. And I just thought it was really pretty. I like that it's not a full on terracotta color. It kind of looks like a worn terracotta, very like aged look about it. I don't think you can go wrong with having planters for spring of all sizes. So I haven't decided if I'm just going to keep like a little faux plant in it, or if I want to try to get some type of little plant put in here, but it was, yeah, it was on sale. So the sale price was $8 on this one. But yeah, she's cute. Just a cute little planter. I actually really want to find more of these planters because I would like to do a display that like has several of them, but here's where we're starting. I have a couple of other planters, but they're a lot bigger. So I would love to find more of these. Um, this does have a little stamp on it. This is obviously not, not old, but maybe I can look it up and track down a few more of these in possibly different sizes because I think it's so cute. And then the, I guess the last item, I can't believe we're already on the last item, is these books. And I got these at a place that we have here locally called Hunt and Gather. It was my first time going there. Um, they are open strange hours. So like they're not open all the time. They open random weekends and it seems like more frequently as we get into the nicer, warmer months. So um, it was my first time being able to catch them on a weekend that they were open. And I found these books. They had really great spring displays. I wish I would have gotten some footage of it, but it was kind of a, a family a family affair. Luke and Jameson and I all went to check out this place. And I was, Jameson was like, on one that day and I was like okay I don't want him to break something which he's very mindful of his surroundings and he's just grown up around vintage and antique items so he knows to be really careful but you know he is four so <laughs> from time to time it gets into a, a mood but anyway um I got this set of books and the reason I picked this up was because I thought the color was really nice for spring as you can see I'm kind of focused on more of a muted palette but I do have that pop of greens um very earthy toned palette and I feel like it will transition well also into fall so I can reuse a lot of these items in fall if I want to but I grabbed this whole set how many did I get let's see two four six seven seven books for two dollars each which I thought was a great price since I used so many books up in our library wall upstairs I don't have a ton to decorate with downstairs anymore so that's why I was like, oh, I should grab these while they're $2. And I feel like the color is really nice. Here's the front. Also got some nice detailing on them. And then the texture of the book looks like linen. Such a great texture for spring. I feel like it, it just speaks spring to me. So that's that. I did, I have seen this a couple of times. Do you guys remember when I got this piece a while back and I think I have the serving tray that goes in it, but I've never used it for actually serving anything. And I saw someone on Instagram, I can't remember who it was, they displayed their books in it, like they used it to hold their books up. So this is not something that I got from this trip, but I wanted to share this because I thought this was a great little trick. And then when I was at the antique mall, I saw somebody do, like had done it again. So previously I tried it when I saw it on Instagram and the books that I tried to put in it were too big. So I was pleasantly surprised when all of these books that I just recently purchased fit in there really nice. This is a cute way 
to display books and they obviously are like secure and hold themselves up a bit better with this. So if you needed a little idea, if you've got something like this or maybe kind of keep your eye out. I found this one at the thrift store and it was not expensive. So that's another thing to kind of keep a lookout for. And that about wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed going antiquing with me and seeing all of the treasures that I picked up along the way. If you'd like to see how I style them, be sure to subscribe. In the next video, we are going to decorate the inside of the house for spring. And if you missed it, the last video, we gave some spring touches to the sunroom. So if you want some tablescape inspiration, I will put it on the screen. You can go watch that next. And also if you missed it, we did launch our spring collection in the Lost Gallery. So that's now live. I'll be sure to leave the link down below in the description box for you. Until next time, friends, we'll see you soon. Bye.